Okay, this is the uh, EFI Source Gold Box that we got for the uh, 71Z28. So basically I'm just powering it from a 12-volt uh, power supply and just to do some testing on it. So it has the SD card and um, another connector and it has a serial port and then the USB port. I got it plugged in the back of my laptop. So this is the harness. You have a gray connector and a black connector. This is the output for a fan relay. It looks like it just has a fuel pump relay and it has a couple injectors, maybe coil fuses. I'm not sure what the rest of them are. And uh, some unmarked wires. So uh, I don't want to move this because I don't want to disconnect the cables. But uh, essentially you have the main trunk that goes through the firewall, has a grommet. And then it goes over here. And you got the crank position sensor, four coils, and uh, I'm sorry, four injectors and a coil. And then uh, you have one connector there. Coming off the other side, um, looks like cam position sensor, maybe an aux sensor, uh, four injectors and coil, um, idle air control, coolant temperature, TPS, and coolant temperature. So once you do that, what we'll do is we will start, um, let's turn the switch on, you'll hear a click from the uh, relay we'll over here. And we'll start Tuner Studio. Looks like there's glare. So what we want to do is it comes with the uh, projects. So I copy those over into the Tuner Studio and my documents, Tuner Studio projects. I just copy the entire gold box. Um, so you have a gold box version there. And what we'll do is we'll go out and read the controller. And then it starts uh, showing all your information. It's active. Um, if you if it doesn't detect it, all you do is you just go up to communications, you go to settings, uh, and you go to detect. It will go out and scan all your USB ports. It found it, and you just click accept and accept, and then it will go out and read the controller, and you're online. So then you can go in and see your uh, fuel settings. This is for a turbo. Um, LS motor. So there's the fuel settings and then the ignition settings. Trigger wheel options, you can tell it's a it's an LS1. Um, so we'll close that and then we'll show you the timing table. And that's the timing table. So kind of an interesting deal, but uh, it's got 23 degrees of timing. It's at uh, under boost. Actually, it's not under boost, huh? Always up to 100 kPa, but. Anyway, so that's basically how the uh, system works and the layout of the harness and everything. So we're going to install this on the Camaro that, we, uh, that we've got dropped off today.